The title of this video is a little misleading. I actually quit kitchen designing twice. Here's the thing, I never wanted to become a kitchen designer in the first place. It wasn't something I thought about doing. It sort of happened by accident. I was young, I was getting married, and I needed a job. And one thing led to another, and I was able to get a job at a hardware store that had a kitchen department. And after a little while of being there, I got into the kitchen department, just putting together cabinets and just helping out, and basically just sweeping floors and cleaning the displays. But one of the things that happened is the designer who was there would always sit me down next to him as he was designing kitchens and just let me watch the process. And as he would go through and design things, he'd tell me why he's doing this or why he wasn't doing this, how to use the software that he was using, what he was thinking about as he was designing kitchens. And that proved to be very, very valuable. And it wasn't long before I was doing the same thing and designing kitchens and working with clients. And it actually was something that I began to really enjoy. Now, one thing led to another and 10 years goes by and I have this career now that I didn't even really mean to get into but I was enjoying, I had three kids, I had a mortgage, and so you feel like you're kind of out of options as far as where you wanna go, you, you have to pay the bills, and I was sort of feeling stuck. The problem for me back then is that I didn't feel that designing kitchens was a good enough career. Some of my friends went on to be lawyers, some went on to be physicians, some went on to be engineers, and I always felt that designing kitchens was kind of just not that good. Which, by the way, is a poor way of thinking, but it's just where I was at the time. So I had this going on in the back of my head, and at the same time, my work environment was getting more stressful and just more things coming on you, and I didn't know how to deal with it that well. It got to be to the point where I just couldn't do it any longer. I began to just loathe the fact of going to work. I'd walk into work super tense. I was afraid to even look at an email. I was afraid to do anything. It just really got the best of me. So I looked for any way of escape that I could and I found a way of escape in another job that I took. Something completely different than kitchen design, something completely out of my realm. I just jumped ship completely to get away from it. They say that a change is as good as a rest and it actually was. The release that I felt after I left was incredible. I just felt the stress go away and I could actually just think and breathe and sort of enjoy life a little better. But as a little bit of time passed, I began to actually miss designing kitchens. Now, I didn't miss the atmosphere that I was in. I certainly didn't miss the stress, but just the helping clients and designing kitchens and going through that process, I really enjoy it. I really like looking at a layout and trying to figure out the best way to make a functional kitchen. All that stuff I really, really enjoyed and I was sort of missing it. So much so that I decided I really want to get back into this which was kind of mind boggling for me at the time to admit because of the circumstances under which I left, I would never ever thought that I'd want to go back, but I did. Now everything changes over time, nothing stays the same forever, and that circumstance at that place changed and I was able to go back and pursue again designing kitchens, except this time something had happened inside me where I began to realize that this is a really great career that I love. I wasn't ashamed of it. I wasn't afraid to be like, oh, you know, well, I'm a kitchen designer when I would talk to some of my other friends or people that I know. It was something that I really enjoyed and that I was good at. So I was set. I was going to take this as far as I could. I was going to do the best job I could. I continued to do my very best every day. I had a lot of success. I climbed the, the ladder, if there is such a thing in the design world. But I was really putting everything into it. And so you'd think, hey, perfect. But then one day came and an email showed up in my inbox. There was a position at the private Christian school that my kids go to. They're looking for a teacher. Now it just so happens that before my design career and before all that, I did pursue an education and I got a degree. And so I had all the qualifications that they needed to do this job. And I never wanted to be a teacher, but something inside me when I read that email was like, you gotta do this. I thought this was crazy. Not only did it just not make sense because why would you just jump ship from your career that you just got back into only a few years ago and that you were pursuing and doing well in. So it didn't make sense financially. It didn't make sense on a whole bunch of levels and I was scared to death. However, there was something in me that was saying, you just have to do this. I quit designing kitchens again. And I remember sitting on the stairs of our home crying, scared to death that I made the wrong decision for my family, scared to death that this was a really stupid idea, but I just knew that I had to do it. And it was a really cool decision. It was just a really cool adventure and something that I really cherish. So here I was teaching school, teaching grade five students, However, I still loved designing kitchens. I still loved looking at kitchens. I still loved the whole world of kitchen design. 
and I did miss it again. But I knew that I just couldn't go back to that world at this point. I wanted to pursue something different. And after a short stint online with Amy and I doing a marriage-focused YouTube channel, she suggested to me that I start the Mark Tobin kitchen design that you're watching now. She knew that I had a passion for kitchen design. She knew that I had a passion to pursue YouTube and this online venture. And so by mixing those two things together, it ended up here. So by quitting designing kitchens two times, it actually led me to this point in my life where I'm designing kitchens again, loving it, creating content for you online, and also growing this really wonderful community. The cool thing is that all the experience that I gained over that 20 years of designing kitchens and being in those environments has led me to this point where I'm able to share the things that I know to you who are watching and hopefully add value or give you some advice or be an encouragement to your adventure and your journey, whether it's just in life or in designing your next kitchen. Now this video isn't specifically about designing your kitchen. However, I hope it does inspire you to continue following what you love and what you enjoy doing because in doing so you will definitely be the most satisfied and happiest that you will be. There will always be stress in any environment that you're in. That's just part of life. And learning how to manage that stress is very important and possible. Which leads me to the sponsor of this video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community. There's thousands of videos for people just like you and me who want to explore their creativity, maybe get better at something they are already pretty good at in the first place, or learn something completely new and develop a new skill. So the new skill that I've been learning is Mastering Productivity by Thomas Frank. It is a really valuable course for me because it's one of the areas that I'm weak in. So by going through this class, I'm able to learn tools to help me be more productive so that I don't get overly stressed in this online venture that I'm doing now. Now maybe you have productivity down to a science, but you wanna become a better interior designer or you wanna learn a little bit more about kitchen design. There's lots of classes for you to explore. I recommend checking out Erica Fogelman's How to Design Your Dream Kitchen. It's a really great course. Erica is a great interior designer and I've referenced her on the channel in the past. You can join the Skillshare community very easily by clicking the link in the description of this video. In fact, the first 1,000 people who use my link in the description below will get one month free of Skillshare just to try. It's a win-win for everyone and Skillshare is completely ad-free. Thanks Skillshare. Now I realize I didn't really give you much value in this video as far as kitchen design is concerned, so my apologies. You should definitely check out this video where I give you my five fundamental tips for designing a functional kitchen. Check that out. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one.